The following program is brought to you in living color. Good morning. Good morning. Pieces like you, oh, 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 it's you. Hype man. That's like that's what like when you do the when you do the uh, the live version of something. Yeah, and they mess you it always, up. You know, you know, you yeah, you always like pimp it up real big, and you're like, dude, I didn't want to hear that. I want to hear the original. <laughs> I want to hear it like I like it. Oh, it's one minute after now, but we started at the top of the hour. We sure it did. It is the twenty eighth of. September, holy the to day the day I will always remember. Hey, I'm Roy. I'm Roy Brewster, and this guy here is. I am Jimmy Shaw. Good morning, everybody. Are we officially in fall, Roy? Did that already yes. happen? Yeah, last week. I okay, twenty second or some shit like that, right? Yeah, I think. Oh yeah, no, it already started. I saw people do their post, and people are doing their pumpkin latte shit, and 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 um, like pumpkin posing spice. around, posing around. You know, fall things go. I'm gonna be falling in love with fall, and and I'm gonna be shoving pine cones <laughs> with cinnamon love. up my booty and stuff like that. I have a, a pumpkin spice latte suppository going on, just to get me in the mood. Someone posted something the other day about a uh, pumpkin spice. It was a joke, obviously, but it was pumpkin spice. Um, hmm, what was it? Wow. Oh, it's pumpkin sized toilet paper. <laughs> That's what it was. If you ever want to have the sensation of a cinnamon stick up your butt, you are in luck. Well, I don't know. Sometimes you throw a cinnamon stick in some tea or apple cider. Yeah. Spruces it right up a little bit. Now, back, so, back at the old uh, chaotic radio, the Jack of All Nerds show, when I would uh, substitute engineering, it was during October, and they would have a month of pumpkin spice stuff so mm. like pumpkin spice twinkies mm. and, and, and some of it was horrific so uh thoughts and prayers to uh mike and derek right now but well, speaking thoughts of chaotic we have a a new subscriber to the channel mr zig ray boom popped in and gave us a couple of comments on our video so good morning zig zig All what's he doing up so early <sighs> this might have been in the middle of the night because you know it's zig showering and taking pictures and all that right that's what he do there we have in the the house the usual our trio of ladies og <laughs> donna mama sita on my side and a lovely mrs roy Ms. <laughs> mrs roy she'll appreciate that <laughs> yeah and somewhere out there is your mother so i'm glad i took all that time to create an account for her good morning well, I, I know it's funny because um i know she's there because she texts me i know that's why i say shit like that so yeah. i want to i want to I wanna get the uh I want to prompt the uh, prompt the response, just because you know, I'm in my fifties, I don't care. My buzzing. Hey, you know, I I had an interesting conversation with Dawn right as she left. Did she leave today already? Yeah, she's gone. Okay. Yeah, I'll be right there. Yeah, come on over. So, <laughs> I have my own Sancho. It's Jimmy, Jimmy O, <laughs> Jimmy O. <laughs> <laughs> um. I said, you know, and, and I said, oh, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm sharing it. It's, I, I got to. It's got to happen. Uh, yeah, it's going gonna, gonna, gonna to share it. Is she said when she left normally, you know, like on Tuesdays, but it used to be, you know, Mondays when she wasn't going in. Right. But on like Tuesdays now, she'll be getting up, getting a shower as she's listening to it. And she said, I got to tell you, it's a little weird because I put the phone up on the ledge of the shower so I can hear. Right. And then it's kind of like I'm in there naked washing, and there's Roy and Jimmy looking at me as I get See, ready to go to work. That, that, that was Lisa Sloan's thing. She goes, I, I, I like the video until I'm getting ready in the morning. She said she had to turn her iPad around. Right. Because it's just a little creepy. We should, you know what we should do? What's that? We should see how brave they are and just send them a link. That's why I was telling Lisa. Turn, yeah, on, their, little, turn on their camera. A little, something on your, a little something on your eye there. She said she looked. Yes, she did. Well, wait, what? <laughs> so, you know, and, and that's just us giving. 
Can you imagine starting your day out with Roy and Jimmy in the shower with you? Please. Best day ever. How could you not love that mo- all the whole day? You would have, well, your back would be clean. Well, back and front. Back. Yeah. <laughs> you would us. have to do nothing. You would just stand there like TSA. <laughs> <laughs> the Roy and Jimmy washing experience. Be like you know what a, you do? like when we, you drive we, your car through the through the wash. Right. Yes. What we do is we split it and we have a loofah in each hand. Right. And then just go just, like this. Yeah, they they go like that and they just turn. Yeah. Just turn for me. We'll just, we'll we'll spin it like corn on the cob. Yeah. Just up down. Yeah. Up down. Nooks and crannies. And then, and then, like you know, the legs—they're separate. Everything else, you can put your hands up and do the legs separate. So you have to do that's like the wheel washer. <laughs> 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 you gotta get the undercarriage. It, uh, it, take that. Have a good morning. Uh, but you know, just because of decency, we would be fully dressed in some sort of wetsuit. Because you oh, know, yeah. come yeah. on, please. But I, I'm not gonna wear any eye. I wear goggles, but I ain't covering them up. I gotta get something <laughs> out of it. You do is like a ski goggle. You're just spitting it so you don't yeah. fog up. That's what happened. Y'all fogged up. Ah, I can't see shit. Come out worse than you came in. What happened? Uh, my goggles fogged up. I'm sorry. You know what happened if they found out that really happened? Hmm. Listeners lined up down the street. Oh, God. We, the we, only problem is we'd have to give the men listeners the same respect as we did the women. Yeah. You know, equal opportunity, but it's like an old OnlyFans account. Apparently, that shit makes money, so... Oh, maybe we should do one of those. Even Ariana said <laughs> a couple weeks ago, we're sitting on the couch and she goes, Why don't you do an OnlyFans page? <laughs> we need some money. <laughs> we need some money. <laughs> I, kind of, I, you I can like, wear a mask or something. Yeah, I like that we're that far in a relationship. Like, is it, can you just go show your shit and get some money? Yeah. Yeah. You, you get to a point like uh, you're first dating and you're telling you don't want your woman showing off her stuff. So you cover that up. That's a lot of cleavage. And. Uh, I think about a month ago, we we're in a store and it's just taking forever. And I'm like, going, just show him a tit. Let's get out of here. Right. Come on. Just come on. Let's get some service around here. Jesus. Come See, on. Drop, you a, know drop, funny? A, drop a button so we can get out of here. You know what's funny is I get that. And maybe there was a little, maybe younger, you know, like young, young, like teens. Mm-hmm. And after that, it's like, I used to always go and, and, and whoever I was with, you know, hey, checking that out. And that's when you pull them a little closer, pat them on the booty. Yeah. Hey, fucker. Ha ha. Yeah. Little, <laughs> little, pos- little possession kind of thing. You wish. Yeah. We were, we were in the store for a long time. I found says, undo a button. Let's get out of here. God damn. You're looking. I'm hitting. Yeah. Let's, let's get out of here. I've been here too long now. I almost, I almost, that was, I don't know why. I almost got a little copy. That was almost like up the, up H- Bill Nostril. HD splash, splash, uh, splash effects right there. Right. Uh, a big shout out to uh, Ron and Lisa for uh, last week. Uh, yes. Obviously. I'm familiar and thoughts and prayers and all that lovey dovey yeah. good stuff. Horrific, horrific stuff. But uh, you know what you do? You move on and you got, you're blessed with all that time. What have you That's been doing this whole week, Roy, besides me and you being movie famous again? Man, I'm telling you what. We are the front page of that IMDb. I know it. That our back to back. Right. Our back to back extravaganza. I know. I know. Sorry, guys. We may have to stop this shit soon. Of course, we said you know, that. You know, what did we say that about three years ago? Yeah. No, it, it's building. <laughs> it's building. It's a slow right. burn. Such the a slow burn. The tsunami doesn't just hit Earth and kill you. It, it got to start from way out there. <laughs> right. right. And it starts building. First, you notice the, the swell going out. and I mean, this is over a long period of time. Such a long period of time. It, yeah, it's, but we're coming like from a long ways away. It's like you're you're in your early 20s and you're with one of your gal friends. You say, listen... By 40, none of us are married. Let's marry each other. We're getting close to that. Right. It's like, okay, whatever. Whatever's well, going it's, on. It's just a buildup um, that, that, that's... Co- here, here's the deal. What's right? the deal? What is the deal, Roy? Here's the difference. Being 50s, you know, as we are, mm-hmm. and I'll probably say 40s, 35s, 40s on up. Yes. You know, under the mat, it's kind of like, you know, you get with your girl, and you're like, oh, my God, that's awesome. It's over. <laughs> no, no, and the girl's like, "What happened? That was great." Now, we we take our time, and it's and it's the 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 build is just the build and the build, and then when it hits, everyone's gonna lose their shit. Same thing with the movie. 
Oh, okay. I see. Well, it's kind of like every time. I, I, I like I like how you're just like, all right, all right he's got no, a point. Well, it, he's going to get to you're, it. You're basically getting, you're talking about uh, what, sex in your 50s. This long buildup, you finally get there. <laughs> I, 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 I got a little text that I'm a lot louder than Jimmy. Um, so. I, I, re, and, and I, re, I resent that. Well, yeah, well, some, well. Let's see. Same. I could oh, see. I could always. I could always go like this, like mm -hmm. you know, like that. Yeah. But now you adjusted it for the loudness. Yeah, I brought you down a little bit. Well, yeah, you're, you're now are, I'm. Way, yeah, way, you're way far above. from the mic. About no, now I'm far away from the mic. On my side here, you sound great. No, yeah, wait no. We were watching. So what happens? Ariana's watching some some uh, jackoffs on uh, YouTube, and they were just ta constantly talking about the sound. You sound better. Yep. You sound better. She goes, man, you yep. those guys sound just like you. I went, hey, man. <laughs> We don't do the whole show like that. <laughs> no, what, what we do is we just throw like a little tease tease thing in there. Yeah. And then we adjust and fly. Just like, see, we, it wouldn't even happen unless we didn't talk about it. Exactly. And, and the listeners saying, hey, 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 I can't hear the music. I don't they say, want a quality. I, I don't say go fuck yourself. I say, no. oh, I appreciate that. And then I do all my magic over here. Little magic, little I'm magic like, fingers. Because we're here to serve. So, um, yeah, the movie stuff, front page, us. The only thing is that page isn't um, it, it's private. published yet. But yeah, it, it, oh, it's about ready to go up. Oh, baby. Yeah, I'm but we can see what. the pictures. You see know what pictures. I could do? Can I show a screenshot of it? Yeah, why not? This should be legal, right? It's, yeah, because they can't go to it. Screenshot that bitch. All right. So I the only it. thing is, when they did that one between the two of us, yeah. they had my arm like in motion. It looked like you're having a could, stroke. Could they not have just waited until my hands got there? <laughs> <laughs> it's an action shot. <laughs> You know what? The, you know what it was, don't you? Here's the deal. <laughs> What's the They're deal, like, right? <laughs> this is this is where his face looks the best. Yeah. <laughs> and it says, "Well, let's go one frame different." And his arms are up, and I go, "Oh no, no, no! We're not going to use that one." So then they went back to the. So they sacrificed the arm swing, right, for a good face shot. That's what happened. <laughs> well, you know, we all strive for good face shot, Roy. Yeah, yeah. That's that's like the porn thing. Yes. Um, yes. Whoa, it's whoa, just whoa. like the the porn. The thing, arm right? swing. Yeah, yeah. The arm swing's not important. It's all about the face shot. It's. <laughs> As they say, <laughs> hashtag face shot. <laughs> yeah. So, like I said, uh, Ariana wants me to do a um, OnlyFans page. Yeah, I'm, I'm well, like, that'd be good. I'm like, how, how much money can you make, and what what do I got to do on this thing? I don't know. We should go on and find out. Can I do it anonymously? I I don't know. Let's see here. Here we go. Look at that. I was like, that, that wasn't even a good face shot. It was like, Rrr. <laughs> here, let me do that face. Ready? Rrr. So the, there the, it is. Yeah, so this is the pose they told, they had us do. They said, uh, we're going to be taking pictures in front of a green screen. And me and Roy goes, of course. It's what we do. And Roy, what did you say? You said, what are you going to do? Have a bunch of circle jerkers behind us? <laughs> <laughs> Not going to tell us what's going to happen. And Drew, All of them, son. Oh, Drew, my God. Look at I got the same shirt on. Oh, That's look at that. That's stupid. <laughs> Oh, oh I got two shirts. I got I gotta go change. There, Ariana, you sell your dirty underwear. Oh my god! Oh, no, because you got to sell them for more. But you than know you're what? Here, pay for them. This is life and times, Roy, that we are so unaware of. That uh -huh. would probably make money. That's how you know. What, what was it? Rosie Tran and the um, what's what's the uh, the the foot fetish? Wiki feet. Wiki feet. And uh, mm -hmm. people just say, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me see your foot. Let me see your foot. Well, I'm like, oh well let's God. do Wiki Cheek. There's one one <laughs> Wiki Cheek. Yeah. One cheek you get. Oh Wiki Cheek. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, see, it's not too revealing. Well, yeah, know? and then they had us do this pose and they they, they they said, um, now I want you guys to be back to back, and then I want you when we say um one three, two, one, you guys turn and have a, a stern look. Right. But we're playing goofy DJs. Right. So how mad but, do you want us to be? But that's my favorite. Like, you couldn't wait. Look at the crease on that sleeve right there. The nice <laughs> one. Um, you couldn't wait, like, another second to get me all the way turned? I uh, I like how I, I, I'm glad he said cross your arms because I got this pot belly going on from COVID and being lazy. So well, it, it kind of looks like it, it took um, the, it, I, I was probably saying something because I was being a smart ass when we were doing it. Yeah, we wouldn't shut up. Right. First, Jimmy had on a green shirt, and we're in front of a green screen, so we figured that wasn't going to work. That's that's um, how pro I am. I right. brought a teal shirt in that one. And I, <laughs> but you know what? They were all there. 
Yeah. When I said, what do you guys think, teal or this? And they said teal. And then they put us in front of green screen going, we, uh, something's wrong. Yeah, it got to work. And then they got it. Remember how they had to move all the lights because we're tall? Yeah, they they had to like move the, I mean, move them all, put them on the ground facing up. And yeah, because everyone it, else everyone... was about yay high to me and Roy, maybe chin. Yeah, and then they, they, said, they, said, they said, man, there's just so many shadows. We can't light their faces. <laughs> they had to move all the lights down by our feet and bring it up. Because we're just too tall for these sons of bitches. Well, I remember um, Nina, the AD, she um, was getting us ready, and they have that little shitty stool. <laughs> right, little bar and stool. And they're going to have us go, and they go, okay, Roy's going to go first. Like, you want me to sit on that freaking stool? <laughs> Who's going to pull it out? <laughs> it kind of looks like a push pin. <laughs> it did. And so then she puts two of them up, the two stools up there. I go, what, now you got one for each cheek? I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah, it, it, yeah, it's like Southwest. Do I got to pay for both these stools? So um, I sat on the one stool. But see, there's your value added right there for your OnlyFans. Yeah. You got that one cheek, but it's, right. you know, it's, it's not like this cheek. It's like one cheek could keep you busy a day. Yeah. Then you add that other one. You're like week, week and a half of OnlyFans money just rolling in, buddy. Wiki cheek. Wiki cheek. <laughs> you should look that up. <laughs> see, see if that's a thing. A, see if it's a thing. <laughs> wiki hashtag cheek. wiki cheek. I got to get there. Hey. There's, our, there's our hashtag for today. Wiki cheek. Wiki cheek. Um, wiki cheek face shot. Of course, in uh, Roy's case, wiki cheek sneak. Wiki cheek that. Who was that? I don't know. That was, must have been you, baby. <laughs> must have been you. I have no idea who that is. <laughs> Wouldn't have been me. Well, yeah, we get a trend going right there. Wiki uh, cheek sneak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With Roy and Jimmy. I remember the first time I told Alex that I thought he was going to freaking lose his shit. Ooh, mom All said I remember there's a... is. Huh? Oh, my mom said there's a nice picture of me on IMDb. Uh oh, are you finding me? Let's I've see. got an IMDb page. I think they finally hooked me up on one. Let's see here. Let's look me up here. IMDb. Keep going, Ram. Sorry. Yeah, I then you go. No. Then you go. Your name. We're, here we are. We're both looking. We're both looking. All right. Both looking at IMDb. How do you spell my name? J I M M Y. Yeah. So there's Roy Brewster. It says Roy Brewster. Oh, there I am, right there. Actor is known for twice as strong strength in numbers a series. Twice as strong motion picture, twice as strong made of fire, and see full bio. Well, yeah. Let's go full screen on this here and see what they got going on for the old Jimster here, which I did not know of. Oh, look at and that. Then it's, look at that. And the crazy thing is so here's what it was. So, actor, one credit for me. All the rest of them are as myself. Look at, look at that dorky looking picture. Jesus Christ. You can actually see my ear hair right there. Yeah. Nice. Ooh. It looks like they, surprise, Jimmy. It looks like they squatted it down. There's yeah, the one. There uh, hey, look at that. Enjoy dinner. Oh, boom, chicka, boom, boom. Hey, look at that. There one. we are looking sharp. Right there. All right. There I don't like my pictures. So, um, so it says it says twice as strong, playing with fire, blah, blah, blah. And the twice as strong strength in numbers, the you, TV series. Yes. Drew and Amber Love Conquers All, Drew and Jasmine, Life on the Road. But those are all playing myself. <laughs> right. One actor credit in 1989. Oh, yes, that's right. Um, what the hell is that called? Out cold. Out cold. It's on my. It's on my IMDb. Yeah. Let's see there. Now, Lisa says, "Nice, you guys." She she's used to this Hollywood lifestyle because you know uh, uh, the infamous Ron Sloan. The infamous. Infamous. Which one? Are, which picture are they using of me? Let's see. Yeah. Oh, cool. they're using my black and white one. Yeah, that's a nice one. Look at you all fancy. Let me, let me pull Don it up. Don doesn't like that picture of me. Why? She married it. I don't know. I think it's good. I got a smile. It's a real smile. I got a little, you know, black and whitey. Hey, man. Thickness and thin, man. You got to accept everything. All the all, all the Like flaws. it. Like it. Like it. Here we go. Oh, look at that fancy schmancy. Look at that guy. Huh? Let's get all these. Let's see all your recent ones here. Oh, look, look at, at him. Look uh, at that fancy. All of them. All of them. Oh, uh, uh, like a fancy right. Oh, that one right there. Fuck. And that one like, <laughs> what'd you say? Hey, you're the oh, guy. Oh, man, I really went to make up for that one. You're the all-star guy. There we go. Jimmy, what are you saying? I like the one before that. Go back. Go back a couple. Go back a couple. This one right there. No, one more. There it is. Yes, Jimmy, I'm looking at you and your beautiful eyes, right? Oh, yeah, that's there. you. Oh, Jimmy. That, that, that's <laughs> what you call natural <laughs> acting right there. We improvised. Yeah. Holy shit, we're on this thing a lot. There we go back to this. Oh, that's a good. That's a good one. Oh, there it is. There it is. There's your money. Yeah, There's like your money picture. page right there. There's your money shot. Uh, Don doesn't like that picture because look at all the hair you have. 
Shut up. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's like looking at a picture with me, no beard. You're just like, whoa, whoa. Okay. All right. All right. Let's, well, you know let's what we adjust. Gotta, you know what we got to do is we got to do that um, mukbang on the on the hair thing. <laughs> no, you just do it on food you eat, huh? And I'm sure you can do it. We we we'll set our own path, Roy. Right. right. <laughs> well, if you do it on your if you do it on the food, it's mukbang. If you do it on your hair, yeah. it's mukbang. <laughs> mukbangs. Mukbangs. Here. I haven't ever had bangs. <sighs> I did ever in my life, even when I was a kid. Look at that! I got it going on right here. Yeah, you do. But See? that 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 black and white picture, right? That is <sighs> whatever. That thanks is for bringing that, that back. Is like thanks, the... thanks. I was just going a good spot with it, saying, "Look, I got some hair," and you're like, "Oh yeah, but that one, you really had you, some." You, you can't all right, look. You can't miss it. I mean, come on, right? Look at that. Here, let's so, go. Let's go full on it. Here we go. I mean, so, look at so so. Word has it, and we don't know, but we might, you know, some. Some film festival we might be involved with um, has something to do with dance. With dance? Dance. Oh, look, it's morning and the sun's out today. Oh. I don't know. Uh, what's the dance part? Are we, were we dancing? Because, man, I can No, no, no. Film to... festival, film festival uh, has something to do with dance. And do... the sun is out today. <sighs> do the, do the... You, you, you still don't get it. No, I don't. I don't get the dance. Sun dance. <laughs> that's like playing concentration there's this a uh, couple people doing the jig <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, apparently there might be some of that going on well yeah what do you think of that shit what is that colorado oh. sundance i hope they pay for us to get there i ain't paying shit hey ron hollywood sloan where's sundance is that colorado and if they pay i'll go but if i gotta pay my own way i ain't going not for this I ain't going. Thank not you. for this shit jesus yeah not for two pictures on freaking imdb i'm not front of a vacay see, bill up. I'm gonna I'm gonna look it up we we can't say that though can't say starts that. January 28th in February 3rd it's probably gonna be a um I bet it's like virtual you want me to fly in the snow oh my god I don't even know where it's at you want me it, to I'm fly? looking it up right now it doesn't even say where it's at you want me to even fly Jesus uh no it doesn't even say where it's at <laughs> are you <laughs> Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That, after that, two hundred fifty thousand. We'll uh, we'll just get our own jet. Well, apparently, though, in January, mm-hmm. hmm, maybe you know, hmm, yeah. Apparently, in January, what? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's oh Utah. tickets. Utah. Ariana says it's in Utah. This is how smart we are. Not Colorado. <laughs> Where does it snow? <laughs> Oh, you looked it up? She, Ariana, she posted in the chat. I, it's funny. I'm looking it up. I can't find it either. <laughs> she found it. Utah. Good. I go to Utah. You know, go check me out some Amish or Mormon chicks. Uh, Mormons, right? Yeah. Is that Utah? Uh, there, there's probably some Amish there too. Right. Run around their little carts with their iPads. <laughs> with their iPads. <laughs> <laughs> right. would do that. <laughs> go yeah. ask them. If, I go ask them if they, if, if any of the people in the, you know, clan their bowl. So yeah, Park, Park City, Utah. Okay, now it all makes sense. I, I'm trying to remember the times I used what to the hell's watch. Park City? We could drive there. <laughs> yeah, I'd drive. I'd, I wouldn't fly in the snow. No? I think I'm, think I'm Buddy Holly. I'm not doing this shit. <laughs> Flip a coin. Who's driving? Who's... Ah, oh, shit. I mean, you go down on a plane like that, it'd be the day the radio died. I mean, there'd be... I don't need that pressure. <laughs> there'd be statues of my glasses right there, and then a picture of Roy's hair back in the day. Yeah, my hair back yeah. in the day. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it'd be a nice and touchy memorial, but no, there's no way I'm doing that shit. And then people be digging through the the rubble looking for pieces of us to, you know, take home with them. Uh, fetch a high dog. Look, I got his blue shirt because it's the only one he had. <laughs> <laughs> I got to make sure I wear my striped one. Uh, <laughs> got his blue shirt. Look at that. You know how much money I'm going to make out of this? What? Enough to, <laughs> enough to subscribe to an OnlyFans page. Look, I, oh, I got this one. I got the armpit of it. Look, apparently, we knew it was going down for a while because he's sweating quite a bit. <laughs> you still have that nice crease on the on your shirt? I don't have such a good crease today. I ironed it. Not as good. You know why? <laughs> why? I knew I was going to be on camera like that. Yeah. So I'll make sure it's sharp. Make sure. No starch, but make Boom. it starch-like. Yeah. No, I starch it. Oh, okay. I like starch it. I like I like. I, I would starch it so much when I put my arm through it, it would go, crack. <laughs> There's a crunch. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
where there. he flexes in his shirt so it sounds like there you're crumpling a tin foil. Yeah. So what the hell have you been doing? What'd you do this weekend, man? I did this weekend I we went lazy on Saturday and just started watching any stupid shit on TV. Okay. That's um, good. We watched something. I forgot what we we started watching. Oh, uh, awesome. How was it? <laughs> <laughs> that something was good. I, I recommend something for everybody. Hmm. Uh during the week though, I installed a microwave oven. Ooh. In the old pad here. Because the one we have, we moved in. Is the GE Space Maker, and I believe it's Model One off the assembly line. It looks like it's for the very first one. So, like nineteen seventies. Yeah, it's a Space Maker. Well, first of all, it's got wood grain. <laughs> <laughs> so, just put you where it's got to go. Does it uh, have the Does it have the the uh, spinning handle on it to tell you how? No, this might be the first <laughs> digital one, but oh, just oh, enough to be a TV tuner. <laughs> Um, I love those ones where you spin them and it tells you how long to cook shit. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Like the little gauges. Yeah. Um, but this one here, it had time cook one, time cook two on separate oh, buttons. So, oh, no. And no, that's for a new one. Anything like uh, the one in our apartment, if you said 30, uh, what, a minute to warm water, this thing would take four or five. Yeah. Time. And it kept constantly a power failure. And Ooh. so I figured the radiation was going out of it, not in it. Oh, yeah. And went on the old offer up slash Craigslist looking and found one for 50 bucks. It's like three years old. Great shape. Went and picked it up. Tore that one out. Popped it in. Bam. Construction Jimmy at it again. At it again. So this baby is sharp. Nice. Now everything is like cooking too quick. Now we're not used to it. <laughs> Shit's hot. <laughs> hot. That shit is hot. Yeah. So nice. I do that. That's the shit I do right there. I keep That's myself. Good. Like this week is going to be patio tree bullshit. Let's That's see if so I can, stupid. See if I get that damn possum out of my goddamn yard. You just did that on the screen, like that. Uh, this weekend is, and I looked <laughs> to the right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Sorry. I looked to the right at my bookshelf. What do you have to do there? <laughs> what do you do over there? <laughs> oh yeah, it's so old it didn't even have a turntable. Shit didn't even roll. There was. I'm like this yeah. thing. This was ancient. And then here's the deal: we do stuff like that, Roy. And then we go, "What do I do? With what I took out." Oh yeah, you know. So like, you know what say, I do with it? I'll tell you what I do with it when you're done. Um, so I took it out. It's greasy as fuck. I mean, it's been in here since the '70s, probably. Well, they made the house in '80, so I think they put it in. So it's greasy and sticky, and I got it in the garage, and I'm like, oh man, I got to haul this somewhere, take it to the dump. I don't know what to do with it. Well, Friday was trash day. There's the recycling bin. I gave it the old Kareem Abdul skyhook. Wham! In this some bitch, oh, it made a loud noise, but they took it. <laughs> I put the lid down so they wouldn't know. They're not gonna look. You're not supposed to put that in their cycling. I don't understand what you're talking about. I said I may or may not have done it. I no no. What I'll what I'll say on on record. I wish I could have. I I did a in one of the chamber things I went to. Do you know what's I, supposed to go in the recycling bin? You can't put all that goes in there is clean cardboard and paper. Not even bottles, not even that shit. They don't want that in there. And well, then if I sh if you shred your documents, yeah, I put them in there. Mm -hmm. They said we don't want that in there either. Put it in the trash and put it in a plastic bag when you put it in the trash. I'm like, what's the point? It says what happens is when it comes the shredding stuff comes out, mm -hmm. it blows around so much it makes a mess out of it. So all you want is and take the tape off of it. No peanuts, no plastic packing stuff. It's got to be clean. Yep. What the yeah. See, I, I, I was blown away. Yeah, it, see, now it, it, it gives a double bullshit in my life because when this all started, I was a homeowner, and we got the two cans, and then you have to figure it out yourself. Split, right. find, you know, one trash can in the house. Now what do I do with this shit? Uh -huh. But we adapted. We got used to it, right? But then I started living in the apartment, I don't know, last 10 years, one big fucking dumpster. So, no, no, we handle that. Well, then just handle this. Well, I got to bring two cans out, one half full, one not full, and then get into the details like you just said. Yep. <sighs> Make up your freaking minds, man. You know so now There's everything a... in my recycle bin right now is shit, is not right. Yeah. I want to go slap some people on next the next door app. Why? And I understand kind of what they were saying, but sometimes people, the things they bitch about, and I guess, and this I'm reading exactly how it was written. Hmm. Um, they said, someone said, um, trash day, 
there's an Asian woman that walks up and down the streets with a big bag. And I, apparently she lives in the neighborhood. Okay. And she'll open and she goes, I don't like her going through my trash. She'll open the trash. Well, she doesn't go through the trash. She opens apparently reading it longer. I'm just reading all this shit people are saying. She goes into her recycling bins. Right. And she pulls out the plastic. Okay. And she puts it in her bag and or plastic and aluminum and she just opens it, looks, pulls a couple out and closes it, and leaves. Doesn't bother anyone. Everyone's thing was, well, she's getting in trash and, and our documents are in there and people are on there. Well, if they're that important, um, you don't think anyone would find them at the dump? How about shred them and not right. worry about it? How about just shut up? It, 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 she's not a raccoon or a dog. No. The shit's not and, and, laid out there. In fact, if I had some in there and someone thought they it was valuable and I didn't, knock yourself out. It's right there. And, that, and that's what you said about your microwave. What I do is trash day. Mm-hmm. Um, I, the trash cans go out and something has to go. Like we had a, you know, we had a desk, we had a bed, we had a mini fridge. We had all these things. Mm-hmm. I just pile that shit right beside the trash can. And you can see guys coming through the night before they'll drive around with a big old truck. Yeah. And they'll drive around kind of looking to see everything big out. And sure enough, by the time the trash people get here, yeah. it's gone. <clears throat> oh, okay. <laughs> out of here. Well, so the- if they can use it and refurb it or do whatever they want, get after it, brother. Well, I, I I didn't know about putting it out on the curb like that, especially since it's kind of broken. No, but, I'll put it out there. I, you People know, take it. Landlord pays the the trash bill, so <laughs> we'll see if a fine comes through. <laughs> no, they they won't know. They yeah. won't know where it came from. Yeah, um, it, it was a it was a, a, a wonderful, tremendous thud when that thing went over. It was great. So I'm looking out the I'm looking out the blinds, going, God, I hope I don't get caught. Whoa, bam! Everyone, be cool. Don't move. Don't move. It was good. And the good thing it didn't have a turntable in it. It made noise. It would have rattled. <laughs> it would have rattled. <laughs> that to put it over the top. Usually what I'll do, though, with stuff I don't know what to throw away is I'll go down to my storage unit, futz around for five minutes, and then go to their dumpster and whoo, throw it away. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Are, I sold the mini fridge this, this weekend. That's it. So I told you about the fridge I bought. The, yeah. It was too big. I, uh-huh. I blew out all the moldings and it still wouldn't fit. So I had to repair it. I redid all that. So it looks beautiful. And then it goes in the garage. Well, now I got this mini fridge, mini fridge freezer. And so I put it up on offer up and I swear to God, I don't know why I did it because I keep complaining about it, but I put it on offer up and I'm having detailed conversations with people about how much, when, where to pick it up, all this bullshit. And then just leave me hanging. Yep irritating i just i will never never fucking use offer up offer up and go f up <sighs> yeah um i've had a few people i, just, I had to think it, it, it's just what they it, 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 as soon as you place an ad that's all they want to do is mess with you yep. what, where, where's the joy in that oh i'll get this guy <laughs> well they um well like we we had one on one of them last night we went down and looked at something we were looking on i don't know facebook or offer up went and looked at it didn't like it um, on the way back, one another guy I talked to, he called me mm-hmm. and said, "Hey, what are you what are you thinking?" And I'm like, "Well, I don't know." And I forgot I looked at it. I didn't say anything to Don about it. Um, yeah, Don, we might have bought the mini fridge for our bar. Um, you should have. You know, it was too big. It wouldn't have fit in that little hole. It wasn't mini like this. It wasn't mini. Yeah, it was a good sizer, but it was still mini. Yeah. But it, it it was pretty tall. Oh, yeah, it, I, we can only go like three feet or something. Two and a half feet, three feet. Three point one cubic inch uh, Magic Chef. Three point one cubic inch. That separate, is a mini separate one. fridge and freezer. <laughs> that, is, that is a little one at three point one cubic inch. <laughs> oh, cubic feet. Three. Oh, sorry. Yeah, feet. <laughs> the, the cubic yeah. inch one. That's the one in the Barbie dollhouse. <laughs> it's about yeah, this yeah. big. You just open that little door. <laughs> so the guy called and gave us our ad- his address, and I go, "I'll let you know." And then we started talking about. It. We're like, "We don't want to go over there. It's not what we're looking for." Right. And um. I actually texted him and said, hey, thanks for the info. Um, we won't be coming. Yeah. Let him know. Yeah, you just, and he's like, I appreciate it. Yeah, just a it's little, like, no little heads up. In fact, it was um, one person was just on it, and I said, when's a good time? They hit me in the morning and <clears throat> be after work. And then, of course, I didn't hear from all night, and I'm ignoring everybody else asking about it because I'm like, okay, this guy's, this guy's solid. And uh, late that night, I hit him up. Listen, if you're still coming, let me know. If not, I got people waiting. I'm holding it for you. Heard nothing back. Like, you son of a bitch. You offer up. God damn it. Then someone else hits me. And then, like, forget it. So I hid the, I archived it. They said that cancels it, but apparently it doesn't. 
put it on uh, Facebook Marketplace, and I got hit. I got hit uh, early yesterday morning, and I got hit in a different language. I'm like, oh, yeah. So I hit the old. I was uh, getting a lot of that. Yeah. Get the old uh, <laughs> translation app, and it was. And the, it was probably the, my favorite person in the whole world. Not a lot of yapping. Right to the details. He goes, "I will give you this much for it." I said, "I would appreciate that." Be there at eleven. He was there at ten fifty-five. Bam, bam, out the door. Dawn had a guy. She was selling um, my old bed, the, the the leather front one. It's perfect. Shouldn't, shouldn't that be in a museum? Why are you selling such history? Yeah, you know. Um, <laughs> it was in perfect shape. Uh-huh. It's like a, I don't know. We looked it up. It's like five hundred bucks or four hundred fifty bucks, and right. she put it on there for like seventy five dollars. See what happens. So she had a guy. It was there a little while, and she had a guy hit her up like on a Saturday or something, and said, um, "I'll give you fifty bucks for it." And she's like, all right, tell it. Yeah. Yeah. Just come. Because okay, well, I gotta go here and then I gotta get this and here's my life and, story. And here and then and then so I'll be able to pick it up on Wednesday. And this is Saturday. Wow. And she goes, Well, that'd be great if it's here. And then he actually told her back on uh, online, says, Well, you already told me you could have it for fifty. Dude, I'm not freaking holding it for you for four days. If someone else buys it, it's not, he, and it's he not got pu- all freaking pissed. It's not public storage. Yeah, he got all he got all freaking pissed. <sighs> like like you could tell he was angry. Yeah. You already said you'd sell it to me. Yeah, come pick it up. I'll sell it to you today. If I ain't you, waiting for you to freaking till Wednesday. The key here is sell. <laughs> right. <Did> you... <laughs> <laughs> and you know, it, this worked out good cuz I I I pay 50 bucks for the microwave. So I'm trying to recoup that cost and I ended up almost doubling what I needed to cover the microwave. So, yeah, I mean it was it was it was, it was profit bound. A little, little 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 greenbacks in the old pocket there, but yeah, I had some person who was chatting me up, and then two days later, last night they hit me up going they they offered me money, and I said sure. When's a good time for you to come? Nothing. Fourteen hours later, what's your address? Go back yourself. Oh, so tired of people. See, and the one that bothers me is you can look at it and tell if they read it or not. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So see, so, and you know what I do? I do. I do click their profile and check yeah. them out, but yeah, that doesn't totally. mean shit apparently. So I'll do that. See if they new not a new account, whatever it is, and then you'll see if they read it. Right now, if they haven't, and on offer up, you can too. You get two check marks if they read it. Right. Instead of just one cent. So I'll look at if they haven't read it. I understand it. They don't live on their phone. Right. Exactly. But when they read it, and it's like they yeah. don't say anything for a day. Yeah. Don't be a dick. Just say no. Exactly. And the, the the first person was, it was boom, boom, boom. It's like when me and you chat, text, whatever. Here's a question. Here's an answer. Okay. Right. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hit me up on your way. Cool. Nothing. And I'll say something. I'll, I'll send it like um, Craigslist is, you know, an email unless they put their phone number in. Right. And I'll just do that. Yeah, man. I, I sent that guy a message yesterday. Mm-hmm. So hell with him. Right. And she's like, well, maybe he didn't get it yet. Oh, come on. How do you not get your email in 12 hours at least? If you're bidding on something or you want to buy something, yes! you don't ignore it. Right. And you're just like, well, well uh, 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 no, I think people just, I, I don't understand whether they're bots or not. I just don't understand why people like to do that shit. But it happens every freaking time I go sell something on OfferUp. <sighs> Ooh, got some for Lisa and Don on a Monday morning. Absolutely. I mean, we're not animals. All right, we're coming back to Roy and Jimmy in the morning, 738. See you in a few. Okay. Just when you said we tried loving, touching, squeezing. It's a monumental good thing. Everybody, it's a good thing. Ain't it true? It's a monumental good thing. Everybody. little Devo hasn't hurt anyone in a while. Well, that just stopped, didn't it? <laughs> well, you gotta love that. Hey, Roy. You're muted. There you are. I'm gonna give you a pro tip, Roy. Pro. You don't have to mute yourself. I mute you. I like to do it anyway, because I don't want you to hear what I'm doing. <laughs> Damn it. Almost worked. <laughs> yeah. I know I know you. Damn it. 
You I almost got me over here. I'd be over here. Doing almost shit. got me. And you can go, oh, let me record what Roy's doing <laughs> off the air. And then that way, that's the way it is. Now I'm trying. Although, to... see, I can't unmute myself and like sing along like I used to. No, no, that's you can't. Because right. yeah, right. I, I think everyone appreciates that too. Hey, <laughs> you're so fucking harsh. <laughs> that is the magic of Roy, the, the sing along. Sing along with Roy. People love sing along with Roy. You know, they do. They absolutely or maybe do. Not. Roy. Uh, they could, they couldn't. I don't really care. I like to do it again for me um, to make myself happy. Of course. Bring yourself joy. And if anyone knows how to self-joy themselves, it's you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm telling you. Know, we're you. We're talking about spring starting. Do you know Kraft introduces pumpkin spice macaroni and cheese? Uh, <laughs> why you got to mess with it? I, don't, I, I can't even do like four cheese. Stuff. Uh, just, just give me the the standard issue. Here, I'm going to show you a quick picture. This is the. Look at that. Look at that old. Look at that old baby. There you go. Look at that ancient relic right there. I think that's in the go. Smithsonian, there as a microwave. Wait, that's the old one. That's the old one. Dude, man, it doesn't have a dial. That's like I told you it didn't. I said 80s. it. It might have been the first uh, uh, keypad one. That's like yeah. That but that, it, that, dude, that's it so takes. Four minutes to warm water, you know, like it's a tired, like a cup. It's tired. <laughs> I mean, it's as old as I am. It takes a little while to get it going. Yes, it takes a little while to get it going, and then, and then you fire it up. Okay, but I'll show okay. you the. I'll, I'll show you the uh, the new and improved though, because you know what the hell. Here's what we do, and action. Boom! Oh, oh there snap! Go. There you go. Look at that right there. Got yeah. that add 30 second button. The, you hit the one, it's one minute. You hit the two, it's two minute. I mean, oh. I mean, come on, we're talking modern shit here, Roy. Remember the old one that used to have the uh, temperature gauge and stick and shit? Yes. <laughs> Find out when it's done. That was high tech crap. back in the day. Well, because see, you couldn't, and you can't have one of those on the turntable. Otherwise, you know, you know spin around. But. Right. So you don't want you don't want after a test run in in Canada, Kraft announced it would bring the pumpkin spice macaroni and cheese to the United States. Mmm, sounds delicious. I, I heard, I read, and heard this that it's not really pumpkin; it's actually cinnamon. It's got that. a hint of cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, and ginger, but no pumpkin. No, so it's just got the flavors of the pumpkin spice. Fifty-two mm. percent of Americans said they'd give it a shot. Um. 25% said yes, and 229 said pumpkin spice everything. But now, have you had a, a, a pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks? Oh, yeah. 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 It's actually pretty good. No, I like it. Yeah. I mean, and, and I like but pumpkin I get the, spice shit. When I used to get one, I would get one a little small, the smallest one they got, just because it's a bit much. But it gets you into that festive. Well, my favorite thing about this time of year is. One of my favorite things, not the most favorite thing. But what is your favorite thing? Right? One of my favorite things is. This is a um, few of my favorite by, yeah, things. Is right now you can go into grocery stores or wherever you're going, Michael's or any one of those places. Yes. And they have the big bag of cinnamon pine cones. Yeah, that's going to be too much smell for me for a while. No, I, I, I just put, it doesn't smell. Though. It just gives a little, I love that smell. Ah. Mm. Yeah, it's a, uh, the, the X like the Yankee candle. Mm -hmm. And oh my God, sometimes it's just every one of those places where it's just a little too much. Yeah. And then we'll buy some shit, put in the car. And it, 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 it would literally make me nauseous. It was like, okay, this is, this is just go get what you want. And we had a big house at the time. So like, I don't even have to smell this no more. That's fine. Now I can't, I can't ever think of Yankee candle without thinking of 16 candles. What? Uh, the end scene with Jake? No, the Yan the Yankee. <laughs> Yankee me wanky. <laughs> yeah. Every time I think a Yankee candle, I'm like, oh, Yankee my candle. Oh, I can't. sexy girlfriend. <laughs> right? <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> uh, that's a, a, you know what? That is a really good segue. To what, to right? The, the police in Vietnam sees 345,000 used condoms that were cleaned and sold as new. I, you know, I saw the headline and I just couldn't bring myself to click about it. It's show quality. You're a pro. Give I know. It, I, give, I said. Give us the deets on this one. Police in Vietnam have confiscated an estimate 345,000 used condoms, which should be cleaned and resold as new. How are they collecting these? Do I they don't go? Know. Is it like the lady in your neighborhood going through the trash? Yeah. Oh, here's one. Here's so another. Fo footage broadcast by state-owned Vietnam Television (VTV) 
This week showed dozens of large bags containing the used contraceptives scattered across the floor of a warehouse in a southern province of Bing Dong. Uh, I don't know if I'm where, saying it right. Where else? Yeah, I don't know if I'm saying it right. <laughs> Police said the bags last weighed more than 794 pounds, equivalent to 345,000 condoms. Uh, the owner of the warehouse said they had received monthly input of used condoms from an unknown person. Uh, they think one person that dude's busy <laughs> or or this dude's you know this dude's busy or this guy knows a lot of people that are busy and goes over and goes hey uh just throw those in a bag i'll come get it later no don't kinda worry like, about that i got it kind of like remember back in the day you used to say the 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 my grandma saved him the tabs for your coke yeah it would save him and send him because someone was supposed to get like kidney treatment or something oh right right the little chains yeah. they would make chains. that's the same thing right right so they so they that's what someone had a bag at home said hey save those used ones i'll come picking around someone get some used condoms it helps them out is that like what you said with the mattress in the microwave you just put it out on the curb yeah when you're done to... <laughs> just throw it down so a woman detained during the bus told police that they used the prophylactics were the used prophylactics were first boiled in water then dried reshaped on a wooden f- phallus before going back and being repackaged and resold. It was not clear how many of the condoms had been resold. The detained woman said she received 17 cents for every kilogram of recycled condoms she produced. So it's a cash thing. 17 cents every kilogram. And there were how many kilograms? There were 360 kilograms. So So 17 times If they reused them for like making tires or something, you know what I mean? The repurpose, but not the reissue. So here's the thing. It was 17 cents per kilogram. There were 360 kilograms. That means she made a whopping $61.20 <laughs> for saving, getting bags of used condoms. <clears throat> so 794 pounds of used condoms gets you 61 bucks. There is not a thick enough glove <laughs> for me to gather these things up so I can make $61 on how many? 32, 33,000? 794 pounds worth. Oh, God. Is, is equivalent to 345,000 of them. I would have got more if I took the microwave to the so, recycler. So let's go 6120 divided by 345 uh, 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 equals... I, I won't even figure out my calculator. It says zero. <laughs> it really does. That's a lot of people putting condoms in a trash can. Yeah. Ugh. My, they said it... My 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 move, you know, throw that baby in the turlet, get it the hell out of here. Well, it 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 the thing, you know what I thought of that. I mean, let it go to the ocean about. like God meant it to be. God meant to be <laughs> over there with all his unborn children. <laughs> <laughs> you think that's sea foam? Mm, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. go on, so hang ten, bro. That's bad. <laughs> <laughs> Too far? Wiki condom? No, that's hilarious. Do? Wiki condom. Go to wiki condom. I still think wiki. your wiki cheek's going to make some wiki money. Wiki cheek's the deal? Yeah. Hmm. And we rake it in but, with, with them, them, them two badonkadonks you got going on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Get me from this okay. side. It's my better side. <laughs> <laughs> wiki cheek? Here we go. Jimmy, you are the seg kin. K- king. And I'm, metropolitan- not, I'm not knowing. We, we do not rehearse this, people, I believe know. it or not. The MTA, the Metropolitan Transit Authority's board, is slated to formally ban defecating on its subways, oh, buses, man. and transit facilities. Why the meetings on Wednesday? We're, we're formally going to say don't don't take a dump in the in the bus. Right. The dirty deed is being barred under current rules. A hundred only a hundred dollar fine to is poop it, on a freaking so subway. That tells me that it was merely suggestive. Yeah, it's not really. It's not like you can't do it. We'd rather you didn't. Right, hundred bucks. You know what? Can you see the guy? You gotta go. See the guy squatting behind his seat when the news broke. (laughs) (laughs) What now? (laughs) Because complaints of soiled subway trains surged in 2019. Oh my god, surged, surged, Roy. The agency had insisted the time that the increased reports of disgusting subway cars a result of more vigilant riders, not worsening conditions. Yet the workers have complained of nasty conditions on trains. The workers union, local 100, launched a train trash photo contest that showed all the ugly. Oh, 
Ariana, so, you know how many times Ariana, if she had a deadbolt on her bathroom door just to pee, but these people are taking a dump in the, the MTA and now they're going, it's suggestive that we eh, try not to. Well, it was a $100 fine and now it's, you know, they're going to make it illegal. Now they're going to make it illegal. Well, the fines weren't enough. You know, right. I, I took a dump on the uh, the omnibus on my way to the Montclair Plaza and uh, hey, it was worth it. <laughs> hundred bucks a deuce. <laughs> hey, you know what? Um, depending on depends. Day, ah, good one. Yeah, you like it? I like that. I, I didn't even try. Depending on <laughs> just depending natural on day. Um, it might be worth that hundred dollars. Because well, how much does I the mean, person make picking it up? See, that's the key. Well, the problem is these union guys. You know, they're like, hey, I'm you know paying this much money for this. They shit. need three guys to pick up one dump. You know, one Could. to hold the bag, one with the stabber. Or the scooper, the other one to say all clear, <laughs> or the, the the disinfectant. Yeah. Um. Now I've had moments in my life in these fifty five and a half years. Yeah. Of where I didn't think I was gonna be able to hold it, but miraculously, mm. I did. <sighs> That's... I've had some before where you got to do like the freaking, you know, you got to do the freaking walk to the shitter at home i've had to literally it. manually put them together but i made it manually put them together. <laughs> <laughs> pull up at the house and you figure that's the your butt thinks that's the finish line but you're so close oh i gotta manually <laughs> gotta put them together put them hands on them babies and get in there hopefully the doors are unlocked oh my god that is like the funniest quote of the day manually <laughs> like as i freaking yawn as you know the so that's so yeah. funny, Jimmy. That's so fun. No, it really was. I was just reading one of my things. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I'm looking at the chat here, and yeah, yeah if it did fit in there, um, Don, I would have, I wouldn't have sold you the mini fridge. I would have given it to you. No, we'd have bought it. Cause, no, I would have given it to you. Cause that's, how, that's how we are. No, we 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 we'd have bought it. I wouldn't have paid fucking retail though. Right. <laughs> but no, see, me and Roy here's how me and Roy, we didn't even think about it. We're like, here, take it. Oh, you can use it, take it. See, so yeah, I would have lost money on this thing because I would have given it. You wouldn't have had the extra ducats right now. Like, yeah, I would have. I would have given it to you. See, so I'm glad you didn't say anything. No, we bartered for some freaking toilet paper and masks. We kind of bartered each other. That wouldn't have. Yeah, we did. Masks for TP. I mean, that that, we were um, we were on the cutting edge of that back in the day. Uh, Don had masks. Jimmy had shit paper. Hey, let's talk. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> let's talk let's talk bring ourselves an, to got, the negotiation table here i got an idea, <laughs> got an idea. You know, i don't want i don't want to let it be said that we're taking charity here <laughs> but i got talk. some masks right here because here's the deal we had enough masks i could use the mask for shit paper it wouldn't have been nice right exactly can you imagine that thing that like you know you don't know that you get done wiping you hold it by the freaking mask by the little <laughs> string around your ear Look at that. <laughs> I think it's clean I wish they had that kind of string on a condom they just get rid of it like that Ugh. Well, Ugh. You, get, you know you get 61 61 uh 61 dollars for 300 and <laughs> that's some stud action right there <laughs> that's a lot and out of those that's, a, that's you know, a lot you know what I thought about when I read that first thing I thought this is how fucked up my mind is because yes, right. I'm like, remember, remember, um, Fear Factor. Yeah, I'm thinking. Okay, one of the things for Fear Factor is you fill up that thing like they do snakes and freaking oh, spiders, right. right, right, and they just pour those used condoms on you. <laughs> <laughs> and all they give you is the goggles. <laughs> <laughs> goggles. That's it. And they're like, and then they show the up close. Yeah, you know, it's like one's running down the side of your face. Oh and my stuff. god! Yeah, like the snake coming around. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. They might have to give women a band aid to make sure nothing snuck up in there. <laughs> Gotta tape it closed. Yeah, because you know, cheap. multiple fathers for one baby on something like that. Yeah, I saw. I remember seeing a Maury or no, it was a Jerry Springer or something. Jerry, where Jerry, yeah, Jerry, that was Jerry. so entertaining. Where they where one of the <laughs> one of the ladies was pregnant, and they didn't know who the father was, and they how do you not know? Well, the reason they didn't know is because they made up their own cocktail with a baster and they <laughs> squirted it in there. And they said, all right, one of them will take. And they wanted oh, to find out who they were. Oh, my God. 
That shit had to be funny. It, it, <laughs> Jerry it, had to be. Is that like how you made a, a tangelo? It's a tangerine and a freaking right. lemon or something like that. <laughs> so gross. <laughs> Never forget that. Well, we put it in the baster, and I'm like, uh. what? <laughs> what did you? It says, and ah. Uh, and then I remember him going into something about, well, we didn't just put it in the baster. You know, we, 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 you know, we got her in the mood first and then <laughs> we got her, her in the mood first. <laughs> and you told her she was going to do a threesome. She got all excited. And it ended up being just a baster. <laughs> and at the time, what I thought of was our old friend, Mark with the, <laughs> that's yes, what I thought with the baster. Right. And then I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Dip shit. Lisa's Lisa gave us a double. We got a face slap and a and a throw up. Very nice. Hey, I don't make this shit up. I'm just reporting the stuff. That's when you said, "Hey, you wanna you wanna do a train with a bunch of dudes?" Yes, I do. Show up with a baster. <laughs> About seven of my friends right here. <laughs> hey, do you like black licorice? Occasionally, I do. Hmm. You got to be careful with the black licorice. I heard. See that? Look at you, headline boy. Keep going. I'm just going, I'm just Current. rapid fire. It, it, it's, in, it's in the thing. It says pop culture. You are on it, my friend. Go. Sharp so, as attack. A Massachusetts construction worker, <laughs> Massachusetts. love of black licorice, wound up costing him his life by eating a bag and a half every day for a few weeks. Threw his nutrients out of whack and caused the 50-year-old man's heart to stop. Doctors reported Wednesday. Bag and a half a day. That is a lot of black a licorice. Lot. Says even a small amount of licorice you eat can increase your blood pressure a little bit. Mm-hmm. Dr. Neil Butula, a cardiologist at Massachusetts General Hospital who described the case oh, that guy. in the New England Journal of Medicine. The problem is glyglyceric acid found in black licorice and many other foods, the dietary supplements containing licorice root extract. It causes dangerously low potassium and imbalances in other minerals called electrolytes. Now, here's the deal. I kind of the low, the dangerously low potassium. Mm-hmm. Um, I take a potassium pill, to, and it says it it changes your blood pressure. But I take one, and it makes mine go down. So I don't understand. It must be different. Now I liked. I'm one of the few who like black licorice. But I, I the only time I would have it is be after a, a few red ones. Then I get the little chunks of black ones and throw a couple in. But nothing. so you're good. So you're a good and plenty guy. I love good and plenty. Yes, good and plenty is good because it's got the right amount of candy with black licorice. I, I think it's a, a perfect mix. Yes. And I did you do you chew it or do you just suck it until the black licorice shows up and then you kind of get that down on a good and plenty? No, I cracked that candy coating. Okay. Yeah, go right to it. It's more than licorice sticks. Could be jelly beans, licorice, licorice teas, and a lot of things over the counter. Even some beers, like Belgian beers, have this compound in it. As do some chewing tobaccos, said Dr. Robert Eckel, University of Colorado, cardiologist and former American Heart Association president. He had no role in the Massachusetts man care. Hmm. So the death was an extreme case, of course. But Of course, but a uh, uh, bag and a half for a couple weeks. Uh, you, any, yeah. It, yeah, duh, something's going to happen. Right. It says the spokesman for the Hershey Company, which makes the popular Twizzlers Licorice Twists said an email that all of our products are safe to eat and formulated in full compliance with the FDA regulation that all foods, including candy, should be enjoyed in what, Jimmy? Moderation. Moderation. Well, the Twizzlers are not really licorice. They're just candy. Looks like licorice. But the black ones have that same shit. Yeah. Because the FDA only lets you have 3.1% of a food's content to glyceric acid. Ah, I see. So, yeah, you overindulge. Over that. Yeah, that's it. and just like he said right there, should be enjoyed in moderate. If I ate a case of freaking Snickers every day, right? Exactly. Chances are there's going to be an issue. Mm-hmm. It's I, like the guy. Remember the guy supersized me? Yes. That was that was really interesting to watch, and when I watched it, it made me go whoa because it actually he was very healthy. Morgan Spurlock or something was the name, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then he, after 30 days, his doctor's like. Hey, you need to stop this. Your liver function, your all this shit is going downhill. And I watched that and I'm like, something's really going on. It was lunchtime. I went and got me a Big Mac. But <laughs> the point being is I didn't have the Big Mac the next day and I didn't have one for breakfast and dinner. Yeah, so there it, you go, moderation. Yeah, but it did make you think of Big Macs. You're like, hmm, I could really, really go for a Big Mac right now. Maybe I shouldn't have one of those. You, one. You can have one of those. 
You can't have mm. all of them. Hmm. Have, have one. So how, so how do you like that for a, like a burst of freaking news? Dude, it was current, relevant, <laughs> enter- and they all f- they entertaining. All right yeah, the licorice was a tough. Because I didn't really have a segue, but you segued the other ones. <laughs> you know, it, that, that's that's the natural ability. And if you want to oh. know what natural ability looks like, you go to that IMDb page. Oh, and boy. And that back-to-back shit. Oh, boy. And that lets you know what's going on. Yeah, that's what I'm talking that's about. what's really going on right there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you. All right, so we're done, huh? Show's over? No. <laughs> I just I found us in a moment of moment of quietness. I'm like, did I did I not do something here? We could go to the the transgender who identifies as a deer is now in charge of a Twitch censorship. <laughs> no, I don't think we can. <laughs> she identifies as a deer. How do you remember identify as a the, deer? I don't know. Remember just the one walk that around like a, this? Well, remember the one that was a dog? Didn't she have an only uh, oh, OnlyFans Oh, right. Page? Making a ton of cash. Right. Being so that's, the dog. If we were going to do that, we didn't. That's right. She was being the dog. Right. So this lady is not, she just, she just, she just likes to be a deer. You're so freaking. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Ray. Well, I don't either. Talks amongst yourselves. I got a burp. <laughs> um, yes, Ray. So a lot of times we wonder. I, I'm wondering right now. Are you? Yes, sir. Until the new year, 2021. It's not only 94 days. We're almost out of 2020. 2,272 hours, 136,371 minutes, which is 8,182,285 seconds until Friday, January 1st, 21st, January 1st, 2021. Which means it is 94 days, 16 hours, 51 minutes, and 14 seconds. Well done, Roy. Well Should done. Let me do it again. <laughs> <laughs> That's stupid buttons. I don't have the. I was like, I gotta do it again. What do we have here? Uh, we have what is it? Ninety something days. Yeah, we're in the home stretch here. So we have obviously going to be October in a few days. When when by Friday, Thursday. Thursday's October, and that's when we start rolling through Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. Bam, done deal. Now are you you gonna you still gonna hog wild and uh, obviously do yep. your, your your Halloween stuff? You have to moral imperative. Yep. And, and I don't know, I don't know what we're gonna do, but I'm putting up decorations. Well, yeah, you have to, and I, I, it's not banned, so you know, just put on some gear, and what you do is you throw it, or get one of them grabbers, and just boom. Well, we probably won't be. I, I mean, not probably. We you won't should, be able to put up the electric chair. No, but you can hook shot candy into bags. And that's what Don kind of said. Bam. Says, yeah, make, we're, make it we're fun. There. Make it yeah, fun like coming. that. Hook shot them. Go for three. Well, they come up, she goes, but I pull them out and put them in their bags. Mm-hmm. And they, you know, we're not reaching out. So, you know, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's no. Get a t-shirt cannon and just. Doof. Yeah. The electric chair is going to be a no-go this year. Yeah. I don't think we can have everybody in that chair sitting down, grabbing it with their snotty hands. <laughs> you snotty idea. little. You. Mm-hmm. Here's your snot right there. It got your um, snot. I saw this. Um, it was kind of cool. It was um, beers you rare, rarely see anymore. Beers, yeah. As in drinky, drinky. Yeah. Okay. Like how about how about hams? Hams. That was with the the bear, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Olympia. And that's where they're going. How about Michelob? Remember the gold top and the and the and the. Remember that it was a good looking bottle. They don't have regular Michelob anymore. I know they have this natural thing, but uh, right. Michelob light. They had that out in the late 80s, and I, I, I favored it. I liked it. How about this one was around all the time was low and brow. When you say low and brow, you said it all. Is that the, what was the tag? I'm on that trying one? to remember it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, low and brow. Bud Ice, I don't give a shit about. Here's the good one. Brew Bud Ice was horrible. Oh. Yeah. Brew 102. Remember that on a building in LA? When, we, we when LA? me and you went last week. I remember yeah. seeing that right there when you get to the 101 in downtown. It was always on the side right there. Brew 102. Yep. And then you said Olympia. My grandpa used to drink Olympia. Olympia was the cheap shit I would buy when I lived in Phoenix. 
It's the water and a lot. Oh, Leo, Leo. I remember. That's right. Uh, Meister Brow. Meister Brow. Holy cow. And that... this sounds like something your dad would drink would have hmm. been Falstaff. What was it? Falstaff? Falstaff. Yeah. I've never seen it, but my dad was a Schaefer guy. I know he was a Schaefer guy. Yeah. He was a Schaefer guy, but he was a... And I thought Schaefer was like nothing ever happened with Schaefer. Right. But then uh, Schaefer was big on like indie or something yeah east coast uh schaefer was uh pretty popular then it came out here a little bit but then i think it kind of petered out but before that he my dad and his mom would have those parties in the 70s have them little amber budweiser bottles those were the best so now look at the picture i sent you for fall staff look at this can oh i would that i would love to have that can oh that's some drinking right there yeah let me save this baby that's classic that's a badass can, dude. That is some classic stuff right there. I would I would have that can today just to have it. Oh, yeah. But it's funny when I looked at those, and I, then I started thinking of my own, and I found out it was still available. It was Mickey's Big Mouth. Never had that. I didn't know Mickey was still alive. I mean, Mickey's was still available. <laughs> <laughs> Did Mickey make it? <laughs> that fucking Mickey, he's still hanging in there. Oh, that Mickey, I'll tell you. <laughs> I didn't know Mickey was still alive. Mickey's still hanging in there. Yeah. And you know what I got for us after the break somewhere? Hmm. What's that? I have got a list. No, you don't. The hell you say. <laughs> you do not have a list. Yeah, I you... do. Let's I see. Let me, let me throw the old uh, flag. False staff. I'm that is say... a badass freaking deal. I wanted to say flag staff. That made me laugh. Let's see here. Let, let's go. Let's go to it. Let's go to the... Uh, Let's go to the instant replay right here. There Boom. we go. Look at that. that Classic. Is a, that is a freaking can. That's not like only, right before they're going bottles and they're going, let's just mix yeah, them up not, a little bit. Not only is it can, it's got the, uh, I'm, I doubt that's a twist off. I'm sure you had the freaking no, church key, I'm that sure thing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's some drinking beer right there. Get a church key and pop it. Yeah. Oh. Good stuff right there. What we have, the, the choicest product of the brewer's art. Oh, yeah. damn, Roy. Is Fall Staff still around? F A L Staff beer. I don't know. That's a hell of a crest going on right there. Fall Staff beer. Um. Oh wow. 1838. What? Yeah. It was renamed after the Shakespearean character in 1903. Mm-hmm. Um. Oh, Paps Brewing was the one who owned it. Okay. So it was actually it was actually founded in 1903 in St. Louis. An early carnation of uh, PBR? Yeah, peaked in 65 with 7 million, about 7 million brewed. Now, who Went out of production in 2005. Who didn't peak in 65, baby? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? That's us. The rights to the brand are currently owned by PAP, so they still own the rights, but 2005 was the last time. So they can do like uh, special editions, throwbacks, if you will. Now, would it not be cool to throw back a Falstaff with that can? Dude, that'd be badass. Like a throwback? Yeah. Uh, make it out of aluminum. and. I wonder. Oh, I like that. Aluminium. Yeah, I watch what, the, the um, Wheeler Dealers. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. eBay. I'm going to eBay. I want to see if you can buy a false staff can. See how much they're going for. A beer. Beer. Here we go. False staff beer can. There it goes. Mm-hmm. Boom. All the old pool tops are going for a buck fifty. Oh, there it is. Beer can fall stuff. Eight, they call it an HP cone to cap. It's eighteen dollars and twenty cents. Really? Nine bids on it. It's got one hour, one minute. I'm about ready to order. It. <laughs> You're gonna do it, huh? <laughs> Pull the trigger. Don's gonna say, "What's this? Twenty dollars plus six ninety nine shipping." <laughs> I don't know, man. Need to have me a little fall stuff can like that. I mean, how cool would that be to put on your shelf? It would be. It would be. I've got a. I've got an old can, empty can of uh, Valvoline, uh-huh. and it's the the old school '70s can. Yeah, I, just, I kept it just because it was it was badass looking. Here, oh, here's another one. Buy it now, eight dollars shipping, thirty bucks. So I'd be saving money if I got it for eighteen twenty seven. See, and that's your bar. You put that up in your bar. You go old school like that. Holy shit! They're oh. calling it a cone top, thirty six dollars. I can I can tell your your wife's not listening. Yeah, no, she's saying, <laughs> like, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> she's teaching people right now. 
Like the sign says upstairs, first I drink my coffee, then I teach the things. Right now she's right. teaching the things. Okay, so what, what, what happened with uh, when we ended the show last week? The oh, last two oh. minutes you froze. You said the, the, the power. Oh, power because, went Because out. me and Sean were, were stuck in limbo. Was like, and you were, that was your freeze. And you said Don, Don was in the middle of a, a class two at the same time? Yeah. We um, were sitting here ready to go, and all of a sudden, mm-hmm. the whole freaking house went dead. <laughs> and of course, the thing, thing, the first thing I do is go. Did oh, we pay it? Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that we're, we're in our studio apartments again. Yeah. So, and, and the thing that made me go, that oh, it's like nine o'clock. It's like that maybe is their time. They go nine o'clock. That's when the banks open. Bank. Pretty much everybody right. opens at nine. Yeah. So first thing I do, I'm like, hmm. Like, no, man, I know I paid it. Right. <laughs> I know. Um, now, even with that big window behind you, it still felt like the darkest moment of your life when they oh, when, yeah. when power goes out in the complete house. Well, because it gets so quiet. It's you immediate realize, quiet and yeah. the tone, but the window's right there, but it's still like you're in a box. Right. Just you don't like, realize how much sound... The AC, even the lights, right. the fans, the fish aquarium, all those things make the refrigerator, all the little buzzing, humming noises. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's dead silent. And that's when you do so, the, the the quickest math you ever did. Okay, it was last month, this month, 30 days, too. I did pay that one yesterday, last week. I paid 135. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's the quickest I, math I'm, you do, too. I'm doing the son of a bitch. <laughs> so I walk bitch. outside <laughs> and I'm looking around and I don't know what I'm looking for. I'm going right. to go outside and see. Oh, yeah. I just right, went right. outside. <laughs> I did. Don was in the middle of a lecture. Uh-huh. It's like talking to her students. And then they're like, what happened? She's texting them on the phone. And um, she's trying to get a hold of her dad to see if she can pick up her shit and go to his house to see if he's got right. power. Yeah. Um, and then figured, well, by the time I get there, maybe we have power back. We don't know. So she, people are texting her with her students and. I'm walking around and I, it, it, that's the part. It's kind of like when your car breaks down, especially a newer one, and you pull over and you pop the hood. You just, what you are you going to do? You don't even know what to look at. You're just like, okay, right. the, engine, know, I'm the a, engine's still here. So. I'm a car guy. Right. You know, this is what I've done. But what are you going to do if, yeah. unless you open it and it's gone? Right, exactly. I mean, and, and if you walk over to the power, uh, the, the fuse box, basically if the big wire is gone, you have no power. Right. It's not so like the, look, the kitchen's off. So I did walk over there and looked, you know, because it did happen here before where the main fuse blew. Okay. Um, and I had to reset it. And I thought, that's kind of weird. But um, I went, all right, well, the light, there's no light on in the meter, not even blinking. I'm like, no, we, we don't have shit. Right. And right then, two houses, the neighbor comes walking out in a pair of shorts and a t-shirt, hair all jacked up. <laughs> See, that's Lose the universal, power? that's your universal neighbor right there. When something bad, like an earthquake... Yeah. Uh, everyone's power is out. Everyone slowly walks out like the, the zombie walk. Right. And you just kind of around the corner from your garage, wait for a neighbor to come out and go, me too. And and then you're all set. So, yeah. Yeah, it's so that universal. Does. So he looks at me, we give each other a nod, like, what's up? <laughs> yep, me and, too. <laughs> uh, I'm like, uh, power out. And he goes, yeah. I'm like, all right, man. I thought it was. Yeah, it's weird. So then we got an offer. Now, here's the funny thing about Edison. Hmm. So I go into the Edison map. It says we have no outages. Right. I call them and get to the outage side. No outages reported. <laughs> so as I do it on my phone, I sign up for the text alerts. Right. So it's everything's fine. And those work because we got those during the our 120 weekend. We would get the text alert saying, you know, you may be shut off between boom and boom. Yeah. So it's supposed to work that way. Yeah, it's supposed to. Mm-hmm. Um, I got a message that said I got texted. Then I got Don got it too. Got texted said um, you like forty minutes later, half hour later says uh, we have a power outage. Your expected power is to resume by one o'clock. Oof! Right, power was already on. <laughs> Oh, I love how people are on it. I remember it. I remember my apartment. Uh, I was about to go to work. It's like four thirty in the morning, and the cable's out. So, uh, so I heads up. I, I, I call him. I uh, actually called him. I said, "Power's out. Here's my address." Okay, well, we show no outages in your area, but uh, you know, uh, we'll, we'll we'll send a signal. They do all that other thing, but we show no outages. I'm like, okay, I guess it's just me. Whatever. I go to leave. I pull out of the driveway. There's five cable trucks 
with the lights on, working on a pole. <laughs> <laughs> right there, middle of the night, biggest light you ever seen. Oh, oh no, we show no, we show no outages in your area, sir. You, well, you know what cracks me up? Because once in a while we have a problem with our. All of a sudden, the internet will just quit. Right. Sometimes it'll be two or three times a day. Sometimes it'll be like once a week, mm-hmm. and it just all of a sudden burp stops. A little hiccup. Yeah, and um, when I'll call, I'm like, hey. All right, oh, hold on a minute. Ooh, we're gonna say, oh, we show you how to drop it. We show you how to drop like four times in the last week. We'll send somebody out. I'm like, wouldn't a light come on saying this dude lost it? For, hey, calling me <laughs> saying there's a fucking problem. It's up to me. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So then the guy, and every time a guy comes out, I'm gonna tell you that the the guys that come out are really nice. Right. You know, really helpful, and it's like. The one guy went out there, and well, when we didn't have anything hardly here, right, right. He comes out and he goes, "Look, you got a filter the deal. Yeah, he had the filter on it, trying to block our internet for the whole time we've been here, and it was still working. I'm thinking, oh, it's going to be great. <laughs> then it went off again, and I put a new freaking modem in. Or before that, I went down to wherever the, the it is, got it. You got that router, router, yeah. And that was supposed to do it, and and it happened after that. And then we had another issue. Someone came out and said, "Found it. Here it is. Showed Don. So the so the guy was really helpful, and nice." Perfect. You won't have any more problems. A week later, pfft, son of a bitch. <laughs> now, I showed you a screenshot from the business I was at. Mm-hmm. Yeah. On holy hell. That uh, your upload speed was uh, over 100. And right. that's on freaking believable. And it was Mac. And that wasn't directly wired to the wall. That was on Wi Fi. Jesus. They're paying some well, money for that. Well, they're a, they're a computer. Yeah, I was going to say that. Yeah, that's where their 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 output is so massive. Like me and you, all we need is uh, eight. For, right. The eight is making this happen. Right. That's all you need for the the upload. The downloads were killing it. But yeah, that was a. You sent me that screenshot. I was like, holy. <laughs> I knew you'd like it. Holy. So I immediately went. Well, I thought. Well, at first I thought it was your house. I'm like, I'll be right there. I'm on the way. <laughs> I could be right there. Every time I buy something on iTunes, I'm going to park in front of your house. And just boosh. and just uh, and just give you a honk and a wave and I'm out of there. And that's the deal. What was it? How fast was it if you were plugged in, <sighs> dude? Yeah, if you were on the if you were wired into that thing, yeah. Oof. I mean, you could be like, oh, that was good. <laughs> this will do. <laughs> oh, that's good. Here we go. Oh, I want that. Look at that. We're we're burning daylight today. Look at this shit. Oh, and a list. Oh, and we're gonna do a list too. Yeah. Well, we'd like that. We like it's been a lists. while since I I found a list. I went, yes, you know sir. I need to go, You're I need the to go king. Back. I need to go back to the list, Roy. You're the king list. Uh, it is uh, 824 Roy and Jimmy in the morning right here on the YouTube. If you're feeling froggy, give us a call at 909-509-4063. That's your frog line. For Roy and Jimmy, we're, we're, we're coming back. Go get your air guitar going. Saving that yacht rock nugget for you, Roy. Oh, I love yacht rock. I had, to, I had to give you a break on there. I didn't know if you were still uh, hooked on the old uh, yacht rocky. Well, you know what sucks is they took it away. It's not on there anymore. Ah, oh, see those limited channels. What the it hell? Went to, it went to, uh, It's I think it's channel 80 yeah. on our radios, and you know now it's to love songs or something. Did I tell you? But, did I tell you? Did I tell everybody about my uh, serious deal? Yeah, it pissed me off, too, because I pay more. <laughs> That's just, the thing that makes me mad about those. You're going to tell the story. Cancel is it. You're, we did. And, and they're then, like, well, you know, too bad. You got to do it on the chat. Is that what it is? Yeah, do it online on the chat. Don't talk to okay. anyone. Yeah. So tell them the deal. Tell them, tell them how you do it. Okay, here's what you do. I think I already told everyone. Didn't I do already oh, I tell them? I think you did. Now, now yeah, I think I'm sure now. I did. But, yeah, you do it on the chat, that live chat, because they'll hit you right away. What's the problem? Mm-hmm. So just tell them, just, I don't listen to it no more. I don't drive, blah, 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 anything. And they'll throw you a deal. And you're like, no, nah, I'm still good, but thank you. And they'll throw you one more deal. And you're like, no, nah, seriously, thank you. But no, no, thank you. 
And then they'll say, how about this? And that's when the dollar twenty nine comes out. And uh, I thought I missed my window and I paid a full tilt one month. And then I went back and uh, you got to do it online, though. Do it online. They say, hey, you know, and then I did it before. I already paid through the month and now I have it for free for three months because they gave me five bucks back. <laughs> I don't know. I'm too yeah, angry. so do, try try it online, everybody. If you have Sirius XM, yeah, they're making a shit ton of money because they keep offering it to me. This is like my third run at it. I'm gonna have it forever. Didn't work. Didn't yeah. work for me. I'm yeah. kind of pissed. But yeah, so don't talk to anyone. Just go online, SiriusXM.com, and you do except it for when we get there, when we get serious, yeah, you're paying full pop because <laughs> we need our, we need we need our money, right? Just saying. But uh, yeah, that, that, that's my trick. Uh, it's all I do. That's all I do. They, I don't do it to do that. They give it to me. I just, I'm good not having it. It's like, eh, I don't drive a lot. I don't do that drive anymore. Once in a while I do, and yeah, well, I got nice to have. I got the old Bluetooth. Yeah. I'm good. I get it. Yeah. Um, Don hardly listens to hers anymore. She listens to what do you call Spotify or something? A right. Lot. Yeah, and then, like I said, I've got a killer music library. And speaking of, I think tomorrow, Roy, we we'll try this. Ooh, ooh. Is I can do a live broadcast here, mm-hmm. and at the same time, I can do it mm-hmm. on our fan page on Facebook. There we go. The problem with that is I won't be able to play music. Right. Well, you know, tunes. Well, what what happens if you just, like, can you do it where you mute the YouTube side? I mean, uh, mute the Facebook side during breaks? No. no. So it's either I, I'm not. I, you can, because I know it chaotic they did, but I, I I'm not able to. Not with our, our, our vast setup. Well, we'll check it out, see what they say. I, I, I would do it just for listenership. Because, you know, yeah. we, me and you with the video, we're, we're basically the, the, the morning radio. Mm-hmm. What do you call it? Theater of the mind. Mm-hmm. It's like, that's, we, but this is the new age. This is what all the kiddies are doing. Mm-hmm. And this is what we're doing. In fact, we got reached out on Instagram. Another morning show hit me up yesterday. And they're telling me, what they use, asked how we do, I asked how they do, and they, they, they do with this other format, but we're getting reached out to. People helping each other. I love it. But, you know, uh, um, I know Twitter. You have Twitter. You created that one, and I never got the password for that. That's all right. Yeah. Um, but, the fa- but the Messenger, mm-hmm. I mean, uh, uh, Instagram. Yeah. Um, since I got a new phone, it's off of there, and I know I created it. It's ours, uh-huh. but, you know, we share it. I, I forgot what the password was. <laughs> <laughs> to the Instagram one? Yeah. Oh, God. I wonder if I got that. I know. And don't jack with it because you got it working. Oh, God. Because Twitter, you do whatever. But that one, we both kind of jumped in once in a while. I don't remember what it was. I, uh, I, I have my notes here. And I've, I've been trying to be really good. As, you know, you create a new account somewhere online. Right. And immediately now I go right to my sticky pad or my sticky program. I immediately put in username and password. Even if it's the same one for everything, I still do it just because I'm going to forget. Yeah. I, I have done that probably the last three months because I get tired of resetting. Every time something happens, I forget. Man, I'm going through my notes here, dude. I've got I got some good jokes here. Holy, holy. Holy shit. I should be on the road. Oh, oh. no one can be. <laughs> holy. Mo- here we are. I got it. Oh, do you? That's fine. Yeah. So what do you need? The, the password? Yeah. Okay. I'll send it to you. Send it to me. You're yeah, gonna, you're gonna, you're, to... you're gonna laugh. In fact, I'm gonna send it to you now because you're gonna laugh that you forgot this. Uh, shit. Yeah, let's see. Here we go. It's gonna be. Uh, oh my god! I almost said it. Here we go. Probably wouldn't be a good thing that I said it. There, I just send it to you. Ah oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and let's see. Why did I use that? <laughs> and that was in March of 2016. Oh my god. So you're hilarious. forgiven for forgetting about it. In fact, uh, yeah, <sighs> I just. Uh, yeah, yeah. In fact, that's uh, hilarious. I used to make uh, passwords different for everything, and then I would forget. So if you can, if my <sighs> password now is the same across the board on everything. So if you guys can crack any of my shit, you're in. You crack well, one. Well, that's why you got. That's why all. you're not supposed to do that for sure. You're not supposed to, but come on, I'm 55. No, I get it. Uh, I get it. I get it. I'll, I'll tell you. I, I'll, I'll give you a hint, though. Sometimes it's a capital letter. Sometimes it's some, not. Sometimes I use the at stand for A's or O's. Right. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll give you... We'll, uh, give you, we'll see if we can give a, one of our used uh, gift cards for, worth six bucks for someone to crack one of my passwords. Did you ever see that one guy that was on out of... Who was he talking to? It was not... He did a show. Oh, I know it was. It was uh, 
Harry Connick Jr. Mm-hmm. Some mentalist guy was on someone's show and Harry was there and he actually um, cracked his passcode. <laughs> Did he? Just based yeah, on... Yeah, he asked him, so it's this, so it's this. And he goes, so the first letter is this, okay? And he asked him a couple questions. He goes, the last letter is this. And then he told his middle letters and his face just like went wet. What? <laughs> <laughs> he go, what are you doing? I'm changing all my passcodes right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm paying attention to you. I'm not looking at you, but I am paying attention right. to you. That's scary. That's so hilarious. what do I got? Oh, I know what I got. Uh, out of men's health, mm-hmm. I have got the top Adam Sandler movies. Okay, let's have it. And what made me think of that was you were talking about a couple of them last week or the week before. I usually saying do. I should watch them. Yes, yes. So it goes all the way to forty-five. Oh. And we don't want to do that. No, that's a bit much. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you gonna do? Top ten, um, top five, top ten, fifteen. Top 10. Let's do a top ten. What I can 10. do is give you. Let's see, forty, one, two, three, four. What I can is go. I'm gonna go forty-five down, not read them. Okay. Let's see if there's anything in here that we should. Um, ooh, this one's surprising. Mixed Nuts is 41. That was with Steve Martin. That's, and that's an Adam Sandler movie? Yeah. That must have been his first one because that, that, that's an older one. It says it deserves to be here only because Adam Sandler is also the worst Steve Martin movie. <laughs> <laughs> that actually has um, uh, uh, Rita Wilson in that. There you go. Um, 38, Grown Ups 2. Grown Ups 2. Um, only at 38 huh yeah that's an acquired taste ah oh, i'm not happy about this at all what's that 31 is grown-ups ah see that's a great movie i love that movie sometimes adam just wants to hang along with his buddies stupid that's horrible uh joe go with it 28 oh just go with it. it's freaking hilarious right that's the one with uh jennifer aniston right yes yes that one's hilarious um, little Nikki is 26. Mr. Deeds, 25. Um, we're almost there. Eight Crazy Nights, which I kind of enjoyed, was 27. Is that a cartoon? The Longest Yard, yeah. Longest Yard, 18. Okay. Longest Yard, and, that was actually surprisingly enjoyable. Yeah, I thought so too. Um, 17 was Click. Interesting. Okay, top 15. 15. Okay, top 15. Rotten Tomato score 14. If you're the kind of person who learned about tolerance and is accepting the concept of gay marriage and Adam Sandler joint, well, bless your heart. Number 15, <laughs> I pronoun, pronounce you Chuck and Larry. I saw a little bit of that. I, I didn't enjoy it. No? No. Number 14, I'm a little upset about. 14. Let's have it. It says, the wedding singer, but with amnesia instead of 80s clothing. 50 first dates. I love that movie. It's a great movie. It's a classic. 14. Bullshit. Classic movie. Rob Schneider, and that's so funny. Oh, and uh, uh, 50 First Dates? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, with this freaking <laughs> eye. The eyes on that stuff. <laughs> oh, brah. Um, 13, I've never seen, never heard of. Hmm. It says once every 10 movie. once, let's see, once every 10 movies, Sandler takes on a serious role and points it, let's see. The Cobbler? No, rain over me. Ariana saw that and loves it. Really, with, with Don Cheadle. With Don Cheadle, yes. I had never seen I've it. I've never I think seen I it. Need to give it a watch. Ariana loves that movie. Okay, I, I'll give it a watch. Yeah. Um, I like. I love Don Cheadle. Don Cheadle's the best. I miss Don Cheadle's NFL commercials. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's how much I like him. Uh, number twelve. Um, the first of Sandler's big movie roles was Airheads. I never, never saw it. Never, never saw wanted it. to. Brandon Frazier. Um, yeah, I never saw it though. And what's the guy that's in all the movies with him? The weird looking guy. Um, Buscemi. Yeah, Buscemi. Yeah, he's in it too. I see his picture. Um, number eleven, Murder Mystery. Oh, that's with Jennifer Aniston too. That was Jennifer on Netflix. Aniston, yeah, it's okay. Never saw it. Yeah, I'm it, feeling it, bad. Yeah, it's all right. Number ten, Spanglish. I saw it. It's okay. Again, mm. Ariana loves it, but it's all right. See, Grown Ups needs to be higher up the list here. I think so. I mean, Number if you're nine, going for a standard Adam Sandler fans, right? then that, that, that I think that gets that, that list rearranged. Go ahead. Number nine, 
I gotta say this is top five for me with Sandler mm. is the water boy. Water boy's funny as hell. So freaking stupid. I it's love it. Every stupid part of funny. It. Yes. Okay. Number eight was kind of dark, but I really enjoyed it. I think mm. it is a top ten. Was funny people. Yeah. And I yeah, I, I always try to figure out is do I like it because it was stand up and we were in the middle of becoming stars? Is that why we liked it? Um, How'd that work out for us, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I've only seen it. But I've only seen it a couple times. I, I enjoyed it. I did enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, but it definitely wasn't what you thought it was. Number seven. Ah, maybe just out of the top ten for me. People love this movie though. Hmm. Is Big Daddy? I've I've always tried to watch it. I can't get through it. I can't either. Yeah, can't get through it. Um, number six. Surprising. Rotten Tomatoes score 92%. Ooh. Earning a standing ovation at Cannes, so film, film possible. Mm-hmm. Um, Noah Bumbach's family of comedy. That's in Utah, right? Park no, City? No, that's that's That's, that's not the different, film, different yeah. film festival. Gotcha. Um, is Adam Sandler's best chance for an Oscar nomination in the middle-aged son of a domineering father, Dustin Hoffman? It's called The Merowitz Stories. I think I saw that. Um, I didn't know it existed, but Ben Stiller is in it. Dustin yes. Hoffman. That's Anna, a great yeah. movie. That is a was good movie. Was it really? Yep. I did. See? I saw that years ago. I stumbled across it. I think it was Netflix. We said, what the hell's this? And watched it. Such a good movie. See, it makes me want to watch this so bad right now. Yeah, no, it's, it's a really good movie. Because Ben and Adam, I think, are brothers. Okay. In that. Yeah. Great mm-hmm. movie. Great movie. Uh, number five, Rotten Tomato score 79 was Punch Drunk Love. Never saw it. Me neither. It says best acting work, probably. But this is more of a Paul Thomas Anderson movie than Adam Sandler movie. Gotcha. Number four. Yep. See, this tells me what kind of Sandler movie I like because my top five is all stupid. <laughs> um, is uh, Billy Madison. Have I, I um, saw that. Yeah, that's funny shit. I think it's funny, and the teacher that was his girlfriend, mm-hmm. hot. Why don't you want to go home? Get your home. <laughs> Sounds that always reminds oh. me. That always reminds my brother Paul. Why don't you go home? God, go to your home. What was her name? I gotta look her up. God, she's Julie hot Julie Bowen. Maybe. Oh my God. Modern Family. Oh, is that where she's from? I think so. Yeah. Oh my God. Anyway. Julie Bowen, write that down. Julie Bone. All right. Julie Bonin. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Roy's number, eyes. <laughs> number three. It number says three. if you're between the ages of 30 and 45, you've seen this at least a dozen times. And you've laughed at it. How you feel about that is your business. Number three, Happy Gilmore. Yes. Wait. For me. Oh, Happy Gilmore. That's the that's the golfing one, right? Yeah. Okay. That's Julie Bowen. I'm sorry. I got the two mixed up. My bad. Oh, what's the other girl's name? Billy Madison. I don't remember. Up. I don't remember seeing Billy Madison. Uh, Billy Madison. Billy Madison. So and cast. What's her name? Oh, it's not that guy. It's not Bridget Nit Wilson. Uh, I don't know who she is. For what? The th- oh, there's she- from Billy uh, Madison. Yeah, what's her name? All right, let's see here. She's being there. It is Billy Madison. Twenty year anniversary then and now. Oh, she still looks okay, but not as good as she did in Billy Madison. What's her name? Um, I don't know. There it is. Bridge, it's Bridget Wilson. Bridget Wilson, not Bridget. Oh, okay. Is Veronica Vaughn. Oh, she in that movie when she kind of... <laughs> <I feel like laughs> bang, Sean. bang, swing. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> the Sean moment. I got to pull that clip. <laughs> so funny. Uh, uh, number three, have we, we got that. Number two, never saw it. Rotten Tomato score, 92%. Says he's never disappeared into a role like this. I know it doesn't seem saying much, given his filmography, right. but watching San- Sander Slees around New York making a string of shady deals, you'll forget completely who you're watching. Is that Uncut From Gems? Physical, huh? Is that Uncut Gems? Yep. I've never, I haven't it? seen it, but I want to. It says it's good. Goofy transition. Sandler is unrecognizable in this tense and taut crime thriller. If he'd only done this his whole career, they really liked it. Well, yeah, it's such a departure. And, you know, there's no way he could have done this whole, his whole career. Come on. Come on. And number one, agreed with 100%. 
no way around it. It cannot not be this one. The Wedding Singer. Yeah, it's a great movie. Where was Blended on that? Blended? I love Blended. Did you really? It's such. Have you seen it? No. I, I feel like such a freaking loser. It's, it is hilarious. It, with your girl, got Drew. Got the Drew in there. Holy shit. No, nah, it's a great movie. It's not. Holy shit. It's not in the top 45. Blended? Yep. All right, that's Ridiculous, surprising. Jack and Jill, Zookeeper, the do-over, oh, mixed Jack nuts, going overboard. I wouldn't even give that a try. Shakes the Clown, Grown Ups, The Animal, Coneheads, Pixels. Oh, Blended, there it is. Yeah. What number? Um, 34. Oof. It says it's, it, here's 50 first dates in Africa. <laughs> that's what it says. No, it's not that at all. Ah. But it's hilarious. I love that one. See? And Drew's in it. See, maybe so that so you got Drew and three of them with her with him at least. You got Aniston, Aniston and two, right? Drew and three, right? Yeah. And how could you put? So that's what it should be. It should be fifty first ba- dates, um, um, the weddings. Well, wedding singer one and fifty first dates up there. Grown ups, um, Billy Madison, and Happy Gilmore, top five. Yeah. Men's health, you suck. <laughs> See the list always we always disagree with these damn things. Yeah, but yeah, blended right. blended is hilarious. Um 51st date, you gotta watch it every time. Um have you have you peeked at her her talk show on YouTube? No, I have not. Yeah, she's awful. Is it? I think she is, but then I'm I, could, I was I, told to I shush. I could actually see that. I was told to shush. But uh No, I could I could see her sucking at it. Yeah. Yeah, it um, was, it was uh, not not well. No, and the reason why is I could see her kind of forcing the crinkled up smile, canny. I could see it happening. It, it it for her being a professional actress and knowing everybody in the business, basically, she sounds like an overdone, not prepared fan when she brings a guest on. This is a and, friend that I knew for a long time. And then uh, 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 it's just like I was in the kitchen going, oh, my God. And, of course, I, I, I was shushed. You know what I You know what I think it is? Ready? Hmm. This is going to sound funny. Come for me. I think it's here is Drew. Right. Like right here. Come on, Drew. Come, go. You right, right. About Drew. Be right. there for me, baby. Ready? 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 It's right here. Too much, Drew. <laughs> it's a little much, yes. Yeah. Too much. Bring it down to here. Right. Be cute. Be whatever you want to do. The giggle. But don't, we don't need. We don't need you here. If it's a friend of mine. And... Well, here's why I think that because I follow her on Instagram and sometimes she she does a beauty line. Right. And sometimes and it's funny because she'll do it like with no makeup on and do some of those. Right. And you can tell. Um. And then she gets a little over the top, Drewy. It's like Drew. <laughs> Drew, get it, get it right down in here. Over this is where the, I want you. Over the top, Drewy. Right. I like. That. I need you. I need you right here. <laughs> and you this come is back, okay. Pull, pull it back a little bit, right this there. This is good. This is <laughs> here, here. It's like that girl that's kind of hot, and you're like, man. And you, everyone says she's cool and she's beautiful and she does all these things. You're like, yeah. And then she comes over and talks. She goes, hey, how are you? And you're like, fuck. That was like I can't that, even listen to you. That was like that dude in Grown Ups. Uh, uh, yes, Sas- Saskatoon. I, they're all getting drinks of water. Like, you know where Saskatoon's at? <laughs> From Saskatoon, yes. eh? <laughs> that, that is it. Right. Oh. Saskatoon, eh? I'm glad this is not This is one of the ones that's not on Facebook because if Drew saw it, she'd like get mad at us. Yeah, it wouldn't be good. Wouldn't and be then, good. And then... Well, we, won't, we won't hashtag her on that, that's for sure. Yeah. Hashtag too much Drew? Yeah, no, no. No, no. And then you would be like, no, no, it's never too much. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I'd have to say. It, 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 there's there's a there's a spot where it's just... And there could be too much of any. Don tells me there's too much of me sometimes. Well, don't. Not like that. Come on. No, I mean, too, it I sounded know. funny. It was like, too much Roy. No, but so, sometimes she goes, eh, just a little less. Yeah, I get And that. it cracks me up because uh, it's like, I'll do something. She goes, no, I know who I've where I came from and dated before. And I, I like that. But some, she goes, just a little, yeah, I'll but, start to tell her a story. I get excited. I get loud. Go yeah, figure. Yeah, and I she get, goes, we're not, we're not on the radio. We're not performing. Calm yeah, down. I, I get that too. And I'm like, Oh, come on. And that, doesn't that make me, me. It's like, when we, we started doing the morning stuff. Everyone, you're, you're a little too, uh, a little much, a little much, 
Well, like, like here's an example. When Roy did the slip and slide. Right. Sometimes I'll do something and, and it's like, you know, sometimes you're, you're just not, you know, you're the fun, whatever. And then I'm like, and <laughs> you're, then you're the like, what are you doing? Whatever. You know, you're, you're, you're always like joking and having a good time. And sometimes you're just not that guy. Right. But I'm not rude. I'm just not wound up like that. I'll listen. And be, and then I go do that. And she goes, did you really have to do that? What? <laughs> oh, I know what it is. Roy here. Right. Right. Too much Roy. <laughs> not too enough much. Roy. That's what it is. Do I have anyone on the line? Can you hear me, Donna? Hmm. Huh. Phone's not working. I have it. Oh, I forgot that one. We were gonna do that. Yeah, I, I, I have her on the phone, but it's not doing any. any I didn't volumes. hear it. Yeah, I didn't, didn't hear it, it ring. Yeah, I know. I, I saw it ring. Oh, I didn't hear it ring. I got everything plugged in. Huh. That Probably looks like we'll get her tomorrow. That's weird. Threaten me with a good time. All right. Well, that's all. That makes it even I bigger. Believe, I can't believe that was Bridget Wilson. Oh, it's Bridget Wilson, not Nelson. That's why I was screwed up. What are you talking about? Bridget Wilson. The one for the one for um Happy Gilmore. Oh, okay, gotcha. I'm gonna send you this is what I think of her in that movie as. Let's have it. Let's have it. I'm gonna give it to you right now. Let me have this it. Is, Let me have it, buddy. Is, Let me have a big This guy. is the one in the movie that you're like, some bitch. Right. Yeah, that's it. Right there. Ooh, ooh, let me see. Roy messaged me. I want to see this. Oh, wow. That's a, she's. What happened, Jimmy? I'm trying to see if I recognize her. Now, there's the phone. So, um, and there she is when she's, she's in the, I said another one. He's doing the questions and he answers questions right in his tent. And every time he gets one right, she takes off another piece of clothes. And you go, yeah. And then he starts getting wrong and she starts putting them back on. That's the one. That's the second one I sent you. Phone's ringing now, Jimmy. Yeah, it's ringing on the outside, but it's not ringing through the machine. Oh. Hmm. Oh, well. Sorry. All right. That's yeah, over. That was good. There's that's another, over. There's, there's another one. Oh, God. Look at that. E. Oy. Where? I don't re recognize her from anything. Yeah, she was, um, she was his girlfriend, love interest in... Well, yeah, in that movie, but uh, anything else. Oh, no. and anything else. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry. Let's see if she does anything else. We're going to look at her IMDb. Yeah, check out her IMDb, will you? Maybe she's got the same amount of shit as I do. <laughs> uh, what? Yes, sir. Hold on a minute. Are you kidding me? No. Yes, maybe. Let me share with you. A last action hero, higher learning. That's Mortal where I Kombat, thought I saw her. Okay. Billy that, Madison. The daughter in last action hero. I know what you did last summer, house on the hill, wedding planner, and shop girl. But ready for this? Yes. Born in 73, former at is a former actress, not anymore. Singer okay. model, Miss Teen USA, award woman. Began her career as an actress after being crowned Miss Teen USA, playing the character Lisa Finmore in Santa Barbara. But 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 see if it's true. <laughs> I've got to go down here. Oh, what? her last, what? Personal life, personal life. Last action hero, shop girl. Oh, personal life. Mm -hmm. Yep, he is. That's it. He's, she's married to Pete the Chimp. Who's Pete the Chimp? The tennis player, Pete Sampras. Oh, gosh. Look at that. Damn. Okay, she did look familiar. And yes, last action hero. That's, that's exactly where she was. She was in Nixon. Um, the real blonde who, 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 who starstruck suburbans love stinks house on haunted hill beautiful the wedding planner just visiting buying the cow extreme op shop girl and phantom punch and she was in santa Barbara, saved by the bell in 92 murder she wrote the street csi beyond the with jake car pullers and signature series oh she did an album no they all did. i only want to be with you released in 94 and Give Me a Kiss, released in 96. Look at that. She is uh, multi-talented, multitasking. Oof. <laughs> She's a, she was a hot one. Oof. <laughs> hot one. I do remember her in Last Action Hero. Well, there you Ish. go. There you Thanks go. For going. Look at that. Well, we'll get Donna tomorrow. For some, uh -huh. reason, for some reason, it just would not play through there. Look at that. Anyways, fun show today. 
Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Tomorrow we're going to go here and also the old Facebook. Oh. Give, we're going to give that a try. Needs no music. See if people, that, sorry. What's that? No music, people. Sorry. No, no tunage, but we'll try it. If it works, it, we're, we're going for a viewership. If it brings it up, cool. If not, it's a one-shot deal. You guys I think we got to do it, it a few times. Give her a try. Exactly. Exactly. So everyone have a great day. We're back here tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. to the 9 a.m. Pacific in specific time with me and the Roy Brewster. That's us. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, yeah, this is radio. Are you miming? <laughs> no, I was just waving. Oh, man. You guys have a good... Thanks for listening today. You guys have an awesome day. We'll talk to you tomorrow. All right, guys. Have a good one. Bye. Hit him, baby. <laughs>